Well, guys, uh, before we get into the podcast today, we got to start it off the way we started off every time. We start off every show like every this, but show. sometimes we don't show it, but it's time. Sometimes mostly for the studio audience. Yeah. <sighs> is ridiculous. What, okay, so what are we listening to right now? I'm so This is America's on. anthem. <laughs> this is the first result on sort Google of. when you type in patriotism. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, son, where'd you find freedom? Oh, it, it just keeps going, too. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's uh, 17 minutes long. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, what a fucking joke. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, well, hey, well, guys. Steven Larson. How you guys doing? Hi. How you guys uh, doing? We actually don't uh, do that before every show, but we figured since our dads were here, it would only be... <laughs> it's, a good idea. it's a good idea. It would only be respectful. Get to the rhythm. To, uh, yeah. It's like how, how uh, I don't swear in front of a lot of old people oh, like yeah. you guys. So yeah. uh, it's, it's just a sign of respect, really. I uh, didn't... Uh, see in Twitch chat. Let me uh, troubleshoot. What is this, one of our live streams? Yeah. No. <laughs> Our live streams are notorious for us not knowing that. Jack, are we live on Twitch too? I think we are. Good. It's nobody watches on Twitch. No, it's kidding. Uh, Twitch just it, it alerts people when we go live, so it mm. takes a little while to oh, get yeah, people yeah, yeah, in yeah. there. Anyways, yeah. what's up, everyone? This is uh, Stephen Larson. We haven't had him in for a while, but it's been know. two years. It's you, been two years. Yeah. And are we gonna do the uh, wow. summer movie preview 2015 part yeah, two? Finally, we can do part two. I know you did, like, a fake one with uh, somebody else. Well, we did uh, the other day. We, Southern, we We brought up, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we brought up the uh, Michael Douglas eating pussy thing, you know, not too long ago. <laughs> so it was great to, great to relive. Mm -hmm. uh, I go back to that every once in a while, yeah. yeah. It's a classic. Probably mm -hmm. the, the highlight of the entire show yeah. forever and ever. Yeah. We're not live on Twitch. Uh, Where's that hammering coming from? Who's hammering right now? This is uh, tech support, the show. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so you guys went to uh, a little WWE yes, thing last, last yeah, night. Yeah. I was upset that I only found out about it once people started tweeting from the location, because I was like, I've been to it once before, and although I don't watch the storylines every week, it is damn entertaining to watch. Yeah, oh, yeah. they put on a good show. They yeah. put on a really good show, yeah. So what was the what was the thing last night? It was it something special or was it, it was just a, a normal? It was a pay-per-view, yeah. And then like they, they had a couple of like bigger matches. Um, yeah, you John know who Cena. John Cena is. Right? Ba, ba, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Thank I, you. I, I'm not you can't see I've heard the is. name, but I've never seen his face. All no, I see is a, a hat floating in the air <laughs> yeah. and some cut off jeans <laughs> just hanging below them. Yeah. He took on. Have you heard of Roman Reigns? Yes. So you have. I've. I know the references. Because we're so steeped in like the wrestling thing now. Yeah. I don't know what like non fans know. Like All I know about know. Roman Reigns is like he his dick pics got leaked or something. Yeah, yeah, Seth yeah. Rollins. That's oh. Seth Rollins. Well shit. Same thing. Same thing, yeah. <laughs> and wasn't there one where like the guy was cheating on his wife with one of the divas? The Bellas? The the what? Well Cena yeah, Cena cheated I on his wife. I only watched the drama. Wife. But now I don't remember. I mean, it's together. possible. It's yeah, entirely maybe. possible. I, need, I mean, Cena did get divorced. No, not Cena. Okay. No, Cena. that man is a, a patriot. He stands yeah. every time for that. Well, he well, left the his dick life for the, the... The dick pics you were talking about, Rollins. I think, were going to somebody that wasn't his fiance. Yeah, that's it was to, like, another... No, well, yeah, yeah, but that his fiance. It. Okay, there no, we are. Sorry. We are on Twitch now. Oh, hey, was... we're on Twitch. Yeah, sorry. Hi, What's everybody. Twitch missed... Should we do the national anthem again for Twitch? Hold on. For fuck's sake, I gotta stand up again? It's the least you could do for your country. This is fucked up. I'm kneeling. Screw you guys. All right. All right. Yeah, America gets it. Oh, Damn, you kneeled. Good. You fucking. Oh my yeah, God. You hate kneeled. America? Uh, yeah, I do. Moving to fucking Paraguay, man. <laughs> Screw this shit. <laughs> I'm moving to Paraguay where everyone kneels. That's <laughs> <So> exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, someone was saying, uh, oh, fuck, the chat's gone, but it was someone had indicated who it was that had sent the, uh, that was cheating on their wife. Uh, <laughs> deport this man. Bray Wyatt cheated. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah, was, Bray Wyatt totally cheated. Thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, with wow. uh, the ring announcer. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So you guys them, need yeah. to start like a Keemstar type thing for wrestling. And I would watch that. Also Just in the, the news. Yeah. Also in the WWE news. Yeah. 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 Um, Get some of that Keem money. 
So last night was pay per view. I've only ever se- I've been to Monday Night Raw. Uh, what what like it's just like WrestleMania. It's a big build up to events that the storyline leads to. Uh, or it's something. not quite like WrestleMania because WrestleMania is in a huge football stadium yeah. generally, and usually that's like their massive crescendo for the year. Yeah. Storylines built to mania. You go there. You get a bunch of bright lights flashing at you. You're you're packed in there like sardines. At least we were. Um, but then these pay-per-views are in smaller places. Usually the storylines don't have quite the build. They're kind of like stop gap That's ideally kind of what the WWE wants. Ultimately, like WrestleMania, they're mania. supposed to have like the huge matches. Nowadays, it's just it's built around everybody's movie schedule. Yeah. Like John Cena, <laughs> yeah, John Cena Phoenix. versus Roman Reigns probably should have been like a WrestleMania or SummerSlam thing, which are the yeah. two big ones. But Cena had to go shoot the Bumblebee movie. Oh yeah. So yeah. they just had to they just do it now. And yeah. like last night was apparently the big like. Cena's the man, and then he was passing the torch on to Roman Reigns. Now everybody, WWE wants him to be the man. It's like the fourth time they tried this with Reigns, too. Well, they need to get yeah. Floyd Mayweather in there. They did years ago. And just have him run what? around? A little while ago, yeah. 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 Wow. Like Mania 23? Thir- mm, three? three? I want to say 23. Something like that. Yeah. How do these pay-per-views play into like the whole uh, Raw versus SmackDown? Because that... that that's how it works now. They have like a draft every year for like. Not, I don't know if this would be every year. They um, have so many wrestlers on their roster that they had to split the brands yeah. again. Yeah. They did it like a long time ago, and they stopped. And then now they've got too much. They got too much talent. Yeah. So much talent. What a problem. Well, yeah. And uh, who and doesn't so, want to be a wrestler? Exactly. Great. Yeah, I know, right? You Who's that Dirk Diggler night. guy? I met him once. Uh, oh, Dolph? Yeah, Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Ziggler, yeah. <laughs> Dirk Diggler. Dirk Diggler. Diggler. The one with the huge dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's his gimmick, the guy with the huge dick. Uh, um, yeah, he's probably going to be gone soon. Yeah? Yeah, they don't use him for anything. Well, he's yeah. doing this awful thing now where he comes out and does really bad impersonations of other wrestlers' gimmicks, <laughs> and then just talks a lot about how no one cares. Well, I've yeah. seen, like, that's the, uh, the he has a compilation where he does, like, he really sells his hits. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. Like, he's, flips like, flips every time. Yeah. It's cartoonish, it's cartoonish <laughs> yeah. with him. Every yeah. time someone throws him, he makes Make sure to do a flip and slam himself really mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I watch all my wrestling on Facebook. No, that's good. That's good. That's... <laughs> With giant black border yeah. walls around. I mean, explaining I watch, exactly yeah. what's this going on. This is totally me when I, I watch get a lot slammed. of it on the, on Twitter, anyways. Because <laughs> WWE, they'll like they'll gif out every like freaking yeah. like match, Ooh. and I'll just like yeah. watch a lot of it. Be two minute chunks on Twitter, like yeah. right after every segment. Yeah. I've also seen that Cricket Wireless ad where John Cena pops through the paper wall and scares people. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's fun. He's fantastic. I love yeah. John Cena. Well, he seems like a really good guy. Yeah, uh, and I'm sure he stands every time he takes. <laughs> He, he loves takes his country. Tiny oh, little flags out kneeling. of his fanny yeah. pack and he waves them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always, sparkles come out. I always carry a flag just yeah. in case the just, national anthem. You know plays. what? I never sit down. What you're seeing now is rare because chances are somewhere in America right now, the national anthem's being played. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about and it, I don't think I've ever seen him sit. You guys are saying standing. you got to the pay-per-view late last night, and all I could imagine was that when they did play the national anthem at the pay-per-view, you were sitting in the back of an Uber disrespecting yeah, the flag. Possible. Or we yeah. were on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> no, or right, in line, worse, we're on the or, subway. Or in line waiting to buy a hot dog. Yeah. yeah. Where was the event at? Staples. 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 Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't <laughs> They're even know. big time now, man. I They're didn't big even time know. now. Here, well, when I saw it, I was like, fuck, I would have got tickets to this. Because I went to that. It, I went to it one time, and I was like, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, it's crazy that they pull us off, like, what, multiple times? a week uh, um, both brands have five shows a week yeah so it's 10 just between the two major brands and then NXT their developmental brand has I don't know how many shows a week yeah. too mm-hmm. I mean so Elliot went to Lucha Underground that was pretty oh cool. yeah oh yeah, yeah. Really was that fun or what we haven't they filmed like four episodes mm-hmm. in one night yeah it's it's crazy. by the end are you it's like long. are you freaking exhausted or what oh uh, it's pretty entertaining the whole time because a couple different promotions do that and like you can kind of tell like you look at the crowd, and you're like, <laughs> "Oh, this is like this must be at the end of their tapings." Because it's like the yeah, third time they've like, seen this guy wrestle. So. Oh, yeah, man, that's what like I, I didn't know. It was a bunch of different tapings until like the same guy came out like three times. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. They keep it entertaining. They have like bands playing in between oh, every yeah. match. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's also really confusing because they uh, they make it even more economical by working around everyone's schedules and just shooting like entire storylines, but like out of order. Mm-hmm. So you're in the audience. You're not entirely clear what the fuck is even going on. Well, like, our friend, uh, even the people that watch it closely, are just like, "Oh, well, okay, I guess this is a feud that's going to be on the show in a year." <laughs> yeah, our yeah. friend had, was like a huge fan that we brought, and he was like, "Ah, oh, I'm being spoiled." Like, he's, he's, like, he was like really following the storylines. Was like, like oh, he, "Damn it! I'm not supposed to know this is going to happen." That he's like a seventy-year-old with Tourette's. No, oh, just, fuck, just I'm gonna spoil you remember Dave ah, Oshry? He's What's that? for Gunner, Dave Oshry. Oh, the name sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah he, he, familiar. he was. He's just a huge fan. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> what do you expect to happen? Ah, fucking spoiled. How old are your kids now? Uh, four and two. 
Jesus and, uh, Christ. Two, they, yeah, they grow up. They yeah. grow up so fast. They grow up really fast. They do. I know. We do have some dad questions that I want to get to. I know. We're talking about this wrestling shit. We talk yeah. about wrestling all day long. Yeah. Let's uh, talk about oh, and I'll get to Kingsman because I had a, a Kingsman did kind of flop a little bit, and uh, it got weird. Like got like no, bullied, it was like, number one. But yeah, compared to uh, it, was like it, a it did less than the weekend, uh, right? than the original and sequels. Usually, yeah. if they usually do better. Uh, it was also split 50-50 on the uh, like Rotten Tomatoes score, mm -hmm. critic score. And we'll get to that because I, I have some opinions about it, but I enjoyed it <laughs> overall. Uh, Karen Nerds Out, Karen P, wants to know, what is one hobby or interest that you're most excited to introduce your children to? Ooh. And it's going to be very weird for you guys because actually having kids and one day maybe having kids is a lot Definitely different. Definitely you yeah. should have kids, both of you Well, guys. yeah, no, yes. I plan on it. Uh, Maybe a dog first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Got to yeah. practice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Hey, the dog's I got two dead. practice dogs. Yeah. They make you, when you go to the hospital to, uh, to, to watch your wife give birth, they, oh, they, there's a the checklist. Hey, have you owned a pet? Yes. Did it die? Well, old age. <laughs> All right. Old age. All right. Come in. You <laughs> can good. have a child. You pass. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Dog or cat? Well, because cats, you just leave them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. No they'll, responsibility they'll, there. They'll fend for themselves. Dogs you have to care for. What's, what's one What's one hobby? Besides wrestling, because I watch, Alabama watches tons of wrestling. Right yeah. Now, and she loves it. Um, although, I mean, I get kind of worried because she hits me sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know. Have you had the conversation that it's, sorry, guys, but wrestling's a bit embellished? <laughs> embellished. <laughs> embellished. It's fake, Ricky. It's not real. It's not actually <laughs> embellished. Um, no, because I don't have conversations with her. But she then she's going to hit you with a hit on the she, head with a chair. Yeah, I know. And I'll say, that was so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she'll smile at me. You're going to sell like, it like Ziggler? Yeah, I will. I'll fly around. <laughs> no, I totally do that. <laughs> now, that now that you mentioned I totally do that, when yeah. she hits me or something, I'll totally sell it for her. Yeah. It's great. Um, do you feel like it's going to be a Santa Claus conversation when you're like, all right, you're I'm going to hit you with a one-two punch no. right now. Santa Claus and wrestling. The, se the, second she can, the second she can understand, I think I kind of brought my niece up the same way because I was really close with her. I, yeah. would, I would tell her, you know, this is fakey fakes. Okay, that's what I call it, fakey fakes. Because that's what I call it whenever she's crying, but I know she's not really crying. Yeah. I'd say, oh, that's fakey fakes. It's not fakey. I'm like, it's, it's, it's totally not fakey, fakey fakes to me, yeah. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Um, Roman Reigns is my hero. Yeah. So I'll bring her up and just understand, look, 30-second fights on Twitter, that's real. Pro wrestling, fake. Yeah. But they're someone both shouts equally world entertaining. Star. Yeah. World star, yeah. real. Pro has, wrestling, fake. Is that, has anyone done that at a, at a WWE match? Shouted world star? World star! Like right when someone gets hit, hit with a chair. Wouldn't surprise me if they did. Yeah. That's like they do at a house show. Yeah. yeah. Not on TV. Good. Really sells the realism. Yeah. Do they still do like the extreme wrestling leagues with yeah. the barbed wire? Oh and shit? yeah, yeah. They, they still yeah do that. There's a promotion called CZW that has like regular wrestling, but they also do their King of the Death Match tournament. Mm. And there is a picture of Jimmy Havoc who, who won, won that this year. He this year. covered in blood. This year. Covered in blood. And then you see like back here, he's got this massive gash. Ugh. I don't, dude. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't watch it. Watch so that. what about the Juggalo wrestling re league? Oh. I think that's still a thing. Yeah, I, I think, think so too. I think it is. I'm not really. I don't really know yeah. much about it. Though. Yeah. So they WWE bought ECW like. 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah, a while ago, yeah. They did, so did, like, is that brand even still no. a They thing? tried, like back then, a while ago, they tried to revive it and it was so bad because it, uh, it aired on the Sci Fi Channel. Mm -hmm. And Sci Fi Channel made them oh, like, incorporate that. fucking vampires <laughs> and like yeah. zombies and shit. Yeah. And it was like, this is not. And ECW. there was nothing hardcore about like the wrestling was. There was no hardcore. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, yeah, was, back when I watched it, it was. Uh, uh, Mankind and his alter ego were on both, weren't they? At one time, uh, Mick Foley. Mick Foley well, was at ECW, but that was way yeah, back yeah. In the but that was like, did he come from that, or yeah, did he yeah, he came from okay. Yeah, ECW. Because I watched in like the was it the Attitude Era, is what mm -hmm. they called the it. Time, yeah, right? that was when I watched when Stone Cold was on mm -hmm. Undertaker, oh, yeah. uh, Kane. Uh huh. Yeah, the Rock. Those, yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah. Isn't that, was, that weird now? That The Rock is like the a biggest $60 celebrity million dollar a yeah. year. It could be president celebrity. Someday. I mean, he probably will be president. He was the day. best thing back then too. Him and Stone Cold. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was. I mean, the man's a showman mm -hmm. through and through. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you guys have you guys have uh, talked to The Rock, huh? I'm, I met him once. Yeah. Fucking nice. I love that. That interview was great. Yeah. Was when he started interview. talking about his dad, the, yeah. the Soul Patrol. Yeah. Super nice guy. Yeah. Also, just largest person I've ever been in the room with. Although I, I interviewed Dave Batista on Saturday, and he is. The man is a square-shaped person. Like, it is very odd. Like, he has normal, like, athletic legs, but then his upper body is Always square. skips legs yeah. leg day. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, he's wearing a, a dress shirt that he, it must have been custom-made. I'm like, I don't know how he can even this get this father. thing off yeah. or on. Yeah. yeah. 
It's just clinging to his body. Well, he rips it off every time. Probably. Yeah. So there's a whole, it's all the same it's shirt. Not, it's yeah, sewed around his legs and they put it on him yeah. and he just rips it off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about you? What's, uh, baseball, what's something? Baseball, probably. Baseball? T putting wrestling aside, probably baseball. My, my oldest uh, daughter is already kind of into baseball, so when she gets older and her attention span can handle an entire game, three plus Who hours. can? I know. At, the, at, at least you're rate. keeping the sport alive. Yeah, trying to. Yeah. But she's into it already, my eldest is, so. Well, that's good. Uh, Elliot, how, how about you? You're, you're first born. What's, what's something you're going to pressure them with that you enjoy? You, you're going to like this because I like this. Um, I'm going to keep them locked up in the house and tell them they can leave when their dog teeth come in. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and but the thing is, them? the dog teeth are never coming. Yeah. No, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I do worry, like, I don't, want, I don't want kids to just be on the fucking video games all the time and shit. Like, I want them to like video games and Grandpa play video Elliot. games with me, but do it in a way that's... Uh, in moderation. Yeah. Math blaster. Uh, <laughs> math blaster. I also you don't eat the numbers and yeah. if you if they combine you. I don't want points. to like force like being a musician on them either, because like I was forced to do piano lessons as a kid and I fucking hated it. But it now wasn't you know until like ten years later where I was like, oh, music's actually super fun. Just not when you're a kid and you're being forced to do it yeah. by adults. So I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to pressure my kids into doing something artistic because I, <laughs> I like to pressure my kids. Yeah. I definitely uh, one of the one of my the things I'm most upset about is like I'm pretty decent at Photoshop, but I can't draw for shit. Mm -hmm. And I played drums for uh, like three years when I was a teenager, but have lost any and all ability. So yeah, my I think my biggest like thing is like man, like in retrospect, I wish that I had done something artistic mm -hmm. growing up. Almost to the point where I was like, man, if someone would have just been like, yeah, like given yeah. me the opportunity or like the motivation to do it, it would have been different. I just did a lot of sports instead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like if, if, if I had a kid that showed any interest in like painting, drawing, music or anything, I'd be like, yes, I, I don't care. I'll buy you the drum yeah. set. I'll buy you the, yeah. the yeah. electric piano or whatever Ooh. and yeah. just practice if, you, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Because like uh, that's, it's so hard to learn that shit when you're older. Yeah. I think the one thing that I've noticed with Alabama is... If it looks like I'm having fun, like I'll, I'll get down there and I'll like start because like I can draw a little bit. Yeah. And no, I'll you're, start. You're you're a very talented pr at drawing, sir. Thank don't you. don't undersell it. Yeah. A little bit. You, you know, draw it, really like shockingly well. It fall. <laughs> I, it fall. You fall out of practice. Though, oh yeah. You know, no, like because I, I got I got an start. iPad now and they, those things are freaking amazing to yeah. draw with. But like the you know the less you do it, and it's like I don't really have a lot of time to do it. But I'll, I'll get down there and I'll and we'll get out the crayons and I think if like if it's an activity that you obviously enjoy doing, yeah. mm -hmm. then that's that's gonna work a lot better than you need to do this or you need to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I'll sit there and I'll draw and she'll look at it and she'll start doing or she'll draw on mine or whatever yeah. and I'll be like, what the hell are you doing? Get your own. Yeah. yeah. I don't actually do that. Well, every time I get my guitars out, the rare times, both the kids will be all trying to yeah, okay. get right, exactly. strings yeah. and stuff. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. This is cool you're into it. Yeah. I want you to learn You know when your hands can actually fit around the guitar, but right now I'm trying to like jam here. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm kid. To jam. <laughs> you got Garage Band Dad's going. Trying to relive his yeah. yeah. I got the metronome going. I'm yeah, and they're trying to get on like YouTube Kids. You're like, no, I'm on Garage Band. No, Garage okay. Band time for Dad yeah. here. You for try Dad. Jam. At like uh, family <laughs> holidays and shit at my parents' old house. Like with their garage, we just had a bunch of like music gear in there, drums, PA, and everything. And like the little kids, all my cousins, little kids, uh, they would just go in there and just. Get on the mic and go, bop, 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 yeah. and then just like <laughs> smash the drum, <laughs> just like for hours. Like they didn't get tired of it at all. Oh, oh my God. Noise. That's, one of, that's one of Alabama's favorite thing. We have like this old ass karaoke machine, like, you know, a $50 one we got for, uh, I don't know, for Christmas. You want it on Double Dare? When yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, yeah. A karaoke machine. And she'll just, my dad will come over and he'll just turn it on for her and I'll just hear, <laughs> and I'll be like, Alabama, you're terrible. Yeah, I, well, it's like whenever I see, kids I have like this like weird kind of like okay one thing's okay but the other isn't like if a kid's like crying on a plane I'm just like wow this sucks for the parents mm -hmm. oh like yeah. that that has to suck yeah. so bad yeah, but I like fun. I don't ever like freak out like n nowadays you just fucking put your headphones on mm -hmm. and listen to whatever and usually you can drown it out but the t there are there are times when I see fucking kids that are just just being annoying yeah. shit oh, yeah. that's when I get so upset like I, and the parents I was, are just like oh, I'm too Oh, I was at the airport, uh, like one of the last times I was at the airport, and we're in like waiting for the baggage to come out, and there's just a kid going, 
la 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 like not crying or like or like yeah. upset or like doing anything that's un uncontrollable but like literally has so much fucking energy yeah, we're, that we're, the only way for it to release the energy cuz it's sitting in a boring luggage claim mm, thing is yeah. to go la 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 and i was just like okay maybe i don't fucking want kids like this sucks <laughs> i know but the thing is like and i don't i don't know because i don't think my kids annoying but we all if do. She, if she, yeah, I know. <laughs> if she did, if she did something annoying, I'm not sure if I would find it annoying, or if I'd be like, "Ah, oh, that's my kid right there." Hey, everyone, look. And so, if it's yours, you might be like, "Ah, oh, look at little Ricky right there being a little." You know, but everybody else. I mean, is as like, a parent, oh. I probably enjoy the la 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 more than the screaming on a plane for two yeah, hours because you know, they like, always yeah. like. It's like a caricature when you look over at a parent dealing with that. Oh, like, it looks like their hair just immediately goes frizzled and gray. And yeah. just well, like, we went to the Orlando. Kids fucking, they're not just crying, they're screaming oh, yeah. on the airplane. We went to Orlando for WrestleMania this past year, yeah. and that plane, of course, was headed towards Disney. Yeah. And, dude, it was that was all it was. Yeah. Just parents and their kids and stuff. And it was like, oh, these poor bastards. What are they doing? I'm yeah. flying to Ireland in, uh, in a week and a half, and uh, the one other time I had a flight that had a layover in Dublin, it was... The plane was full of kids. The people really do have like ten kids apiece, and they're oh, all redheaded and running around yeah. <laughs> with their little Irish. Voices. Can they all get sticks they're to hit all the chairs Irish that they run yeah. by? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was wild. Um, well, great. Baseball. Baseball, keeping the sport yeah. alive. alive. I know America's sport. It's, it's got a like grand uh, I just went to Salt Lake City, so it's like Mormons. They just have kids to keep the religion alive. Mm -hmm. Much like baseball fans. Proliferate. <laughs> Much like <laughs> baseball fans, exactly. More you're gonna fucking sit and you're gonna like it. <laughs> and if you don't, we'll get peanuts or something. We're staying up as we'll late as peanuts. it takes mm. to finish this yeah. game. It's 12 30. Nine innings, 12 innings, 19 innings, doesn't yeah. matter. As many Someone innings as win. it takes. Uh, we should probably get to some of these super chats. Uh, Kuya Paul, $2 for the dad duo. Great Saturday show, by the way. What was our Saturday show? Did you guys do it or was it the Rick and Morty thing? Did you guys do what? a Saturday we show? Did, we did a Saturday show. It was the predictions. Um, no Mercy predictions. Yeah, Saturday I don't know. Show. Do they still do like gambling for that? Yeah. Because it feels like people could just make a ton of money off of it. It was so that for a while it seemed like there was there were leaks because right before shows would start, the odds would change oh, yeah. drastically yeah. and then they, they would be on that. across somebody, the board what actually somebody happened. Somebody in the last pay per view won forty five thousand dollars. On a parlay, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. And so there was word that they were gonna stop doing it. It was actually before well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like something that could be abused yeah, pretty easily. Very yeah. easily. Yeah. yeah. By just, any person on the chain of command doing production. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, exactly, yeah. Like down to the guys who are like rigging the fireworks or like yeah. stages and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, cool, they're playing the. Right, exactly. <laughs> they're yeah. playing the winning Who's thing theme for this. songs do we have loaded yeah. up? Okay. Oh, hold we have on to time second. the fireworks to John Cena? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, get in it while you can. Exactly. Uh, DJ229 popping in as they always do with a $25 nice, super chat. Nice, big money. Thank you very money. much. Hell yeah. Do you guys live stream on YouTube or Twitch yet? Uh, on Twitch. I know you, I know we, you guys we do, do Twitch. We do a little bit of both. We do our gaming on Twitch. And our then Monday morning uh, show, um, or our Monday show is on YouTube. We do. Uh, do you do it at the exact reactions. same time as us? Uh, we do it at noon. We do it at noon on oh, Monday. Okay. Well, oh, well, watch it and then head over. There you, you go. You got about yeah. seven minutes to yeah. to yeah, get on your stream. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, except for after pay per view, we pre-record those. No. Well, yeah. Sometimes we do those. Sometimes we do them live, but not today. Not today. I've seen you in the Twitch comments before. By the way. Big shout out to our Twitch viewers watching right now. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's some nasty boys in there today. Oh, which I, I haven't gosh. seen messages deleted on Twitch in a while. But, uh, I think it looked like one little nasty boy. Uh, one little nasty boy. Uh, hi, Tight Assets. Hi, Luke Garvey. Boy. Ian, Transelda. Good to see you guys. And uh, Nail Bomb, weird name. But uh, thank you, DJ229, <laughs> for the $25 super chat. Tom Perhas, $10, finally made the live show. And with the friendos, no less. Much love from Central Michigan, homies. All right. Yeah. That's I'm sure where the Juggalo just... Wrestling's at. Yeah. Yeah. Juggalo oh, Wrestling's yeah, real huh. big there. Yeah. Yeah. Did so you guys see safe. the march? Yeah. What? The Juggalo March. march. The Juggalo March. Uh, I heard saw about it, like, it on the news. Heard about it. Yeah. yeah. I still don't know why were because the, the the feds were trying to classify them as a gang. Yeah. It's like yeah. if the feds classified Degeneration X fans as <laughs> as a gang in the hey, '90s. I'd take that. They're always telling people yeah. they're building credibility right there. You can't throw gang signs everywhere. I know. In the what a weird era. What a fucking weird era that they're literally great, telling yeah. people to suck their dicks yeah. on national yeah. Sucking. Yeah. Hey, suck, suck my dick. Yeah. And like, no, nothing vague about it. Suck, suck my dick. Yeah. Here, Literally I'll show you dick. exactly where we want this you to suck. This is where your face goes, on yeah. my dick. Exactly. And then the fireworks go off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we then love it. The winner. Yeah. You know, I was thinking this weekend, before we get into another question or a super chat, like, what if, because, you know, the McMahons, they're all wrapped up with Trump. 
What oh, if yeah. Trump's trying to bring back the XFL? You know, at the XFL, oh, yeah, yeah. our players stand or they get fired. Well, Trump, yeah, exactly. Trump and Vince McMahon both have failed. Uh, oh, football, football leagues. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, right. he Trump. I can't it was remember the, USFL, the name of the league. Right? Yeah, the USFL. Yeah, it was like oh, yeah. it was like almost the exact same story, but ten years earlier, and it yeah. it, it it failed just as quickly. Did you see the actual image that they put out? Like the don't watch the NFL with him standing there with his hand over his heart? No. And that was like said, an official wait, image? Real? <laughs> oh, that was... And then, and then the edited added. one, the, the Krang Nelson account that yeah. added, <laughs> added, I stand for the anthem and Subway Jared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> free, <laughs> free, hashtag free, free Subway Jared. <laughs> yeah, free Subway Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but the initial thing, so that was a real yeah, thing. Yeah, that was like, it was that? put out by like a super PAC, like a conservative super oh PAC. Oh my gosh. And his hands photoshopped <laughs> away to his heart. That's great. The best part, okay, not to get into this thing, because we'll do we'll talk about it later, but the best part is that, like numerous times he's had to be reminded to put his hand over his yeah. heart. Literally his fucking wife at one point elbowed him. Yeah, like at his inauguration. Yeah, p come on, do it. You gotta do it. Come on, Donald. I've only been here 10 years, and I know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, impression right there. Adam, Adam Galloper, at Adam Galloper, asks, what's the worst place your dad ever took you to? Example, a ski the trip gone shed. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jared's my dad. <laughs> oh. Uh, a ski trip shower. gone wrong, something like that. Uh, a ski trip, wait, what, a ski trip I, he, gone he wrong? He gave an example. Oh, okay. Gone wrong. Did he also happen? said wrestling show with unexpected ultraviolence. Oh, <laughs> no, you know what's funny is that, so um, I took uh, my stepson, uh, Devin, oh, to a yeah. wrestling show when he was like nine or something. Yeah. And uh, It was Bring Your Own Weapon Night. It was Bring Your Own Weapon Night. Oh, what? It was a little indie show. And so as soon <laughs> as that match started, we got like pretty close. And I was like, all right, Dev, we're going to go back there because this is terrifying all of a sudden. Because some guys were bringing out, like, light tubes and stuff. Yeah, someone brought a stick. Yeah. Like a branch from a tree. A branch yeah. from a tree. But uh, I was like, yeah, let's, let's go in the back. I always heard those fluorescent tubes were poisonous, but people yeah, break them are. over each other all the time. Yeah, they are. Yeah, They're the, poisonous, yeah. and they do that. That's yeah. the risk that we... It's terrible. I know. They put their bodies and their lungs on the line. When I worked at a movie theater, inside. we would just go outside and smash them because they made a real cool sound. Oh, yeah. yeah. They look oh, really fun to break. Yeah, they're fun to break. We wasted a lot of that movie theater's money. Good job. We sure did. Uh, bad dad trip. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying uh, to I'm in a hard time. My dad would just take me on boring, like, like the worst would be anytime that there was an errand that it was like, oh, I got to go up to Tampa or Gainesville or something <laughs> like that. It's like, oh, yeah, why don't I just come along on this two-hour, oh, one-way, yeah. four-hour round trip thing so you can get a part for your car because mm -hmm. Mail order doesn't exist back then in a in a real way. Yeah. So cool. We'll we'll just go. Yeah. That's my Saturday. See you later, friends. Yeah. I'm gonna go on a four hour round trip to go uh, to a car shop. I have a like similar kind of thing, but like much worse because so I I grew up for like four years in England when I was a kid, right? Mm. And on the weekends we'd go on these long trips to like castles and shit. Which now sounds amazing. Yeah. I would fucking well, love kids to do like that castles now. too, though. Yeah, but once you've seen one, and you'd rather be like riding your bike, like I got a new yeah. bike, and I could be yeah, riding yeah, around yeah. the neighborhood. Be stuck in the car, like for yeah, and all we're day. stuck in like a giant station wagon, which is like the vomit machine because I got car sickness really easily. A lot of those roads are really small and windy, and so I'd just be throwing up all the time. Yeah, and so, but I mean, they were just trying to get us some fucking culture, and I was yeah. like, ah, oh, this sucks. I'd rather be freaking watching cartoons. <laughs> Man, Steve keeps throwing up every time we put him in the car. I know. Ah, well, next Saturday, got another castle to go see. Yeah, I know. We're going to see every, every goddamn every castle in this castle. country. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh. yeah, I don't know. Mostly just like trips to Home Depot. Uh, <laughs> places like, uh, what do you call it? Like the <laughs> trips the, to Home Depot. The nursery where like you just, they plants? Fuck, you buy fucking plants. Like yeah. if we'd be there for like what felt like days. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like 45 <laughs> minutes, like, but you're like. The <laughs> most boring fucking thing for a child is a store that sells plants. Yeah, that's pretty boring. Uh, and then, yeah, like just like similar, uh, oh, like for some reason, my parents were like really obsessed with what people in our neighborhood were like doing to their houses. So like if they knew there was like construction That's happening, the they would thing, drive so it? fucking slowly, like on our way home, like we're so close. And then they'd be like, oh yeah, let's go have a look at that. And I'm like, fucking we're right here, take me home. <laughs> it's, it's just a house. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's really cool what they did with the, like, the trim. And now oh, all God. is HGTV for yeah. nine yeah. hours. Yeah, exactly. It is. You understand now why, yeah. how fascinating it is. They were doing like HGTV IRL. Yeah. Like they'd make us like, we had no intention of moving, but they would go to 
anytime there was like a open house, oh, we were like, I love oh, in the yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like we take Let's the whole family the there. Oh, house looks like. Oh, yeah, the best. Uh, oh, it's we're like great. walking around their house. I'm like, oh, that's really cool the way they do. It. Oh, who's your contract? Like, Fucking <laughs> goddamn it. <laughs> what about vacations though? Did you ever go on like a weird vacation? No. Like a shitty one? No, they were all pretty good. Uh, I mean, we drove. That uh, the uh, other thing that sucked was like we we ne I never flew on a plane until I was like. 17 and I bought my own ticket somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we we would go on trips to like Virginia, mm -hmm. but drive. Yeah. So it's like, what is the trip? You're there for three days because you spent two and a half days getting there and right, back. Yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. just like, I remember I used to just have the old Game Boy oh, yeah. and it wasn't like backlit or anything. Oh yeah. So you yeah, could yeah, only yeah. ever see oh, it yeah. when oh, like okay, there was like a, you would stop at a truck stop or something and you'd be under the light. Or I would be trying to play Tetris and like you would be going past the street lights on the highway mm -hmm. and just see it every couple of seconds. <laughs> yeah. Just mit like like you said, even going to like a plant nursery and like maybe you were only there for 30 or 45 minutes, but it felt like a fucking eternity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, road trips were like I might never get home because yeah, there was this nothing is gonna to take do. forever. Yeah. Like I would yeah. try to read and then I would get sick. Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I got yeah, that. That's too, the worst. Yeah. Well, like, there, my dad at least like started buying audiobooks. For long trips, so we I listened to so a lot all of the cassette with the. I listened to a lot of Stephen <laughs> King books. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, speaking of audiobooks. Yeah. Should we should we do it? Oh now? yeah, let's do our yeah. speaking of audio. That's a great, great segue. Great segue. <laughs> I was about uh, to say because now yeah. audiobooks are not tapes; they're digital. Baby. Jack, we have a sponsor to read. Please cue up the sponsor video, and I'll just read over it. Is it okay? Here we go. I'm gonna start. <laughs> you just play it whenever. Uh, today's sponsoring advertiser hashtag ad is Audible. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this show. And if you like reading books, but you don't like letting your eyeballs do all the heavy lifting, Ugh. it's time to start reading books with your ears. What? Audible says they have the best audiobook performances, an unmatched selection, and the most exclusive content. Heck, if you're all excited for Ready Player One to come out into theaters next year, why not just spoil the whole thing by checking out the source material? Yeah. Uh, Read with, with your ears. Yeah. <laughs> with an audible sci-fi performance so powerful, you can feel transported to another dimension, even while sitting in traffic. Or on the bus, probably. Isn't that one read by Will Wheaton? I believe so. Wheaton. Uh, people are, they're probably going to be so jealous. Very jealous when uh, they see how well-read you are. You're dropping all kinds of references to books that they're yeah. not even, they don't even have the time to and read. They, they don't need to know that they you read it with your the ears. They don't have the secret clues that you have, like that we're giving you. Mm-hmm. You can, uh, you can hide it in your ear, like cover it with your hair. Yeah, just, re just <laughs> read, read book, the book right back no one even exactly knows you're doing it. as you're hearing yeah. it. Uh, you know what? Bookmark your favorite moments and then go back and play them for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, do not wait because you want to be well read now. Start your 30-day trial right now and your first Audible book is free. What? To learn more, head to audible.com slash etc. That is audible.com slash etc. And uh, you'll get your first book free with a 30-day uh, trial. Uh, there are certain restrictions that apply. Please see site for details. Thank you for sponsoring this show. Keeps the lights on. Now back to you listening to audiobooks. Yeah. D wouldn't uh, that be more boring than anything No, it was, it was something to like for children. listen to. For our fans, it's great. Because right. like, yeah, 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 on yeah. a lot of these trips, like we would go to Yosemite like pretty much every year, and you, once you get up into like the more rural parts of Northern California, there's no fucking radio yeah. stations. Mm -hmm. It's all just pfft. So it's good to have... Uh, you know, some tapes with some books on it. I do remember now when we would take road trips, uh, we would go sometimes with a family friend that had their family with them, and uh, they would, my dad and his, and their dad, they both owned CB radios. Oh, yeah. Oh, so that was actually neat. fun, because I, <laughs> looking back, I'm a fucking annoying kid, but yeah. I'd switch around <laughs> to, like, to find the trucker channels and be like, yeah. hey, breaker, breaker! <laughs> oh, my God. And they're probably just like, God damn it, get this fucking kid off the goddamn... <laughs> Trying to find lot lizards. <laughs> 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 you fucking kids. Uh, Larson, how about you? Any terrible uh, family There was one trips? family trip that kind of went south. We were, back when we lived in Arizona, we were going to go up to... I Did you go south? Going. No, we went south north. South of the border? It's a great tourist trap. We went north this time. Uh -huh. uh, to this lake to go fishing. And then where we lived was, was out in the middle of nowhere and very deserty. So it was warm. Weather was nice. We'd go up into the mountains a little bit. And it was awful. It was cold and it was raining. And we obviously, n nobody in the family wanted to fish in that kind of weather. So we just sat in our van for a while, <laughs> waiting to see if it cleared up. But it wasn't clearing up. And I think my, my dad might have been like, we drove all this way. We're going to wait, try to wait a saddle a little bit. Never cleared up. We're going to wait out fish. this weather. You're in the van. Dads are so stubborn, man. 
I just remembered another one. I used to, because I lived in Florida, we went to go see the space shuttle launch probably eight times and never saw it launch. Every time we went, <laughs> it was scrubbed at the last oh minute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they, yeah, they canceled those a lot. Yeah, and yeah, we never went perfect. to a successful one. <laughs> the only time I ever saw it really well was when I lived in Orlando for like a year. Yeah. Orlando's so close to Cape mm -hmm. Canaveral that like it would light up the entire night sky. Like it was insane to see. So That's that was awesome. cool. But That's yeah, really I never cool, got to actually, experience yeah. like the earth rumbling and seeing it like right there. Yeah, but that was, else. that's crazy because it was like a three and a half hour drive to go yeah. see it. Oof. What so do three you do? You're like, well, uh, well, let's, uh, let's go get some go lunch. Home. Go get some lunch at uh, Applebee's. Yep. The Cape Canaveral Applebee's. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> I heard it's amazing. The, play, the tour is cool if you go there for one of the tours though. Oh, I right. would highly suggest going to that. We thought about going for a second. We were out in Orlando, but we had too much stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. I like space. Space yeah. is great. Space, space is, is fun. I fucking one, love one, one space. I fucking look back. love space. One day we're going to look back and think, what do we ever do without space? <laughs> Not much. But, yeah, that's what Trump said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did he really day, say that? Yeah, that's his quote? One day we're going to, yeah, one day we're going to look back and think, what do we ever do without space? And fucking, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Armstrong or John Glenn or somebody was next to him and he was like, Armstrong oh, was wait. not next to him. He's, he's dead. Uh, uh, his, no, it okay. was uh, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz, Buzz Aldrin. Aldrin. The yeah. second man on the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the man is so old, doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. It's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, lo I love old dads. Known as granddads, they yeah. are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they reach a point where they they don't they they're not going to hide it. their uh, their feelings about anything. Yeah. yeah. I saw one of the I always see like the the moon truthers or whatever they post. And I always like get interested in like whatever their new theories okay, are. Okay, what are yeah? There was yeah, one the new, new one where it was like, but how did? Okay. Yeah, but how do they fly up there with a full-sized oh, car and drive it around? There. Yeah, okay. It's like, right. well, yeah, it was folded under a thing, and they had to, like, build it when they were up there. Okay. Well, yeah, with their suits on, they built a car. Yeah. Uh, it was built on Earth, to, to, and they trained in suits to do it properly. Yeah. But There's anyways. a lot of preparation that goes into these things, if yes. you can believe that. If you yeah. can believe it, yeah. They just released uh, the entire, I don't know if they just released it, but it was recently uh, released. They just released all the uh, transcripts from the Apollo 13 mission, mm. like full, from oh. start to finish, every every single thing that was said to Houston back and forth, and 99% of it is the most boring. You oh, it yeah. doesn't make any sense to you yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. But they even have like the graphs of what the instruments looked like when they were like oh. trying to. Yeah. Oh wow. It's pretty interesting, but also I have no idea what the fuck. I just was, like mm. flipping over. Oh, okay, cool. There's the Houston problem thing. Yeah. yeah. You can listen to. Uh, it's the same with the pilot. Like transcripts and yeah. shit. Like it's the most boring fucking. I love thing. that copy pasta oh, yeah. that always pops up where the guy's <coughs> flying the S, like the Blackbird SR seventy one, like doing ground speed checks. Yeah, he's like, uh, can we get a ground speed check? They're like <laughs> ten thousand miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, all the other pilots just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's as good as the fucking yeah. Navy Seal copy pasta. <laughs> Next time we have what's his name in uh, Nolan North, we'll have to have him read the SR seventy one copy pasta. <laughs> we were flying a Blackbird over uh, Los Angeles airspace. Cessna chimed in, said, can I get an airspeed check? And this uh, jet pilot, jet, he's like, I'm going to show this guy up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get a ground. Yeah, it was fucking. <laughs> then some bad boys up in some fighter jets thought they were top dog. <laughs> Little did they know. It's an actual quote, too. Yeah. It's not just a copy pasta. Yeah. Well, it is now. Now it's a meme. Yeah. Now it's uh, internet. And it's soon to be a made-for-TV movie, probably. Yeah. The, the plane that went fast. <laughs> the plane that couldn't slow down. Yeah. Some say it's still up there. <laughs> 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 Uh, Eli Viveros, Baron Forrest, who is uh, always hanging out in the chat, had a question. Well, who are your favorite TV dads? Mine's oh. Bill Cosby. Uh, Brian Cranston <laughs> yeah. in Malcolm, the good TV yeah. dad. Yeah, Bill Cosby, great TV dad. Great TV dad. Frank Costanza. Oh, uh, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's the best. Uh, you know, growing up, though, it was Cosby, man. That, yeah, that's was. why it was such that's a why, yeah, no, yeah, it sucked because it's just like, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You tricked us all into liking you. Also, uh, I mean, sort of similar, Chevy Chase in uh, the vacation movies. <laughs> Man, I love yeah. Chevy Chase still, and I still give him a pass even though he's a fucking dickhead. I've yeah. heard so many terrible no, stories. No, no one yeah. likes him. Yeah. 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 All, everyone he's ever worked with is just like, yeah, he's a real fucking I just love those vacation movies so yeah. much. I know. Man, I watch Christmas so Vacation every year. Yeah. It's just such a bummer that he's such a prick. But at least yeah. he didn't drug 50 women and rape them. True. Right, I know. There's like a line. There's like, okay, there's, there's like Hollywood jerk. And then, the, you know, who just says rude things. Serial and then rapist. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, serial rapist. Habitual, yeah. habitual rapist. Yeah. Uh, Archie pretty, Bunker. Pretty big gulf there. Also, what like, are you, 80 years old? <laughs> no, but I watched a lot of Hall in the Family growing up because it was constantly on during the daytime. Oh. Yeah. But also, not someone you'd look up to. No. But at the time, you're like, hey, he's saying the funny words. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Meathead. Yeah. 
Uh, he talks just like my dad. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know who. He talks just like my dad. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of other, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, John, I want to say John Connor, but I know that's wrong, but uh, John from Roseanne. Oh, John Goodman. John, oh, yeah, 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 he's yeah. great. But what's his name in the show? Dan, 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 Dan Connor. Connor. Dan, Dan yeah, Connor, yeah, yeah. 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 No, he was great. John Goodman makes everything better, though. Then he died of a heart attack, but it was all a dream. What about Alan Thicke from Growing Pains? Oh, no. Um, Man, he got ruined. Too, Michael Gross from Family Ties. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. liked him because yeah. he was, like, Gross. super liberal. Yeah, it's kind of, you're over my head here with the, that, that's the stuff where it was, like, I think I was too young and it wasn't on reruns all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Uh, you, didn't, you didn't, you ever saw Family Ties? Not really. Michael J. Fox was, I was my like, shit, dude. I love yeah, that. He was Full little House, Reagan. Step by Step. Yeah. Full yeah. House, Step by Step, Family Matters. Yeah, Carl Winslow, great yeah. dad. Carl Winslow's oh, yeah. a good dad. He was a great dad. Get great out of my house, Protected Steve. his daughters. Hey, great father figure, Doc Brown. Yeah. Yeah, from Back to the Not really a dad, know. though. He's putting, uh, he's putting people in risky situations. And, like, dogs in yeah. the time machines? Yeah, he doesn't really yeah. give a shit. He's, he's kind of, like... Oh, he loves I know it's Marty. Like, it was based off of, you know, Rick and Morty's kind of loosely based off of that, especially the pilot that they first did. Oh, but, like, I saw that. It's hilarious. He's kind yeah. of the same thing. He's, he's, he only gives a shit about himself, really. Mm -hmm. like, he only kind of, like, cares about Marty whenever... It finally goes wrong. Yeah. yeah, he just fucking loves science. It's true. Exactly. That's who the, he started that Facebook who fan page. <laughs> Marty, I just I just I, fucking love science. I traveled to the future and started a Facebook <laughs> fan. What, is, what the hell is Facebook? <laughs> you're gonna love it. <laughs> well, you're gonna love it. But then it's gonna come out that they withheld information from the government for 16 months straight, even though Barack Obama told oh, them. Al Bundy. Yeah, Al yeah. Bundy, oh. great dad. Great oh, TV Al dad. Bundy was fantastic. You realize as you grow up, and maybe people knew this when they were watching it back then, but just how good of a dad Al Bundy was because when you watch it as a kid you're like oh look at this lazy piece of shit butt of the joke the man working class works hard mm -hmm. lives in a uh, modest house mm -hmm. ha he has a, a wife and kids that treat him like shit but mm -hmm. damn it he still provides for them yeah, yeah. Great dad. Yeah, he's a not great like dad. that Marcy Darcy and her husband. Just two single people uh, yeah. living it up. Oh, we have a BMW. BMW. Yeah. Well, you don't have fucking two kids and a dog, mm -hmm. and work at a shoe store. So fuck you. You know Darcy. that show. That show mm -hmm. really kicked off when uh, Steve left, and it was Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jefferson. Yeah. Wait. Jefferson Darcy. Yeah, Jefferson. Wait, was it Jefferson? The dude who was on the love. They boat, switched you know? husbands. Yeah, yeah. yeah they Some, switched husbands. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Oh, he was fantastic. Because he was just like, you know, just a gold digger, you know? I just, it was so great because he fucking hated his job, but he did it anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then when he came home, just wanted some peace and quiet. Exactly, yep. yeah. And he never got it. Just his wanted to be able to scratch his balls without <laughs> yeah. any judgment. Yeah. yeah. Al Bundy is a great. Uh, uh, Red Foreman from 70s show, yeah. Oh, he was good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Classic dad. Solid dad. What about Asshole Andy? Dad. Somebody that mentions Andy Griffith. Uh, yeah, he was, he was like, actually like a legitimately good dad, though. Yeah, yeah. he was like, actually good. It's like Leave yeah. It to Beaver Dad or something. Just like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, He's teaching little Ron Howard, you know. I don't like you know man. what the step by step dad. Who was it? It was fucking what's his name? He was a pretty big star in the, in the uh, '90s. Kind of like short curly which one hair. Was step by step. Step by step. I only remember the theme step song. I don't remember day. anything about it. Patrick, Patrick Duffy. Duffy oh, that's right. Oh, he was yeah. okay, but he let that stoner live in his backyard. Is That's that a, risky. I don't remember that jack shit about you got this shit. Yeah, I don't remember. A, a drug user? Yeah. I don't think so. Not in my house. Not mm -mm. in my not in my backyard either. Mm -mm. <laughs> NIMBY. Not in my backyard. No <laughs> stoners in my backyard. I had pretty much tuned out of sitcoms, I think, or maybe I was just watching something else, but I kind of vaguely remember step by step. See, Bob Saget, great dad. His wife was killed in a car accident. Oh yeah. And he knew he, he filled up that house knew mm -hmm. that he wouldn't be able to raise these three daughters on his own mm -hmm. so you know what he did he didn't just try and fail he went out and he got help from the people that matter most yeah his wife's brothers um i think that that they was? were related to his wife oh, I never even thought yeah i never about understood it. that i, I think they were it. related to his wife i huh. think they were his wife's brothers or at least one of them was that's kind of new info for me i never yeah knew, uncle jesse and uncle danny mm -hmm. but they're it's never referenced that prove me wrong but it's never referenced that they're his brothers ever. That would be a thing where it's like, oh, it's my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's never met yeah. yeah, I think you're right. And mm. then, like, I mean, it, they, it's kind of shitty at one point where he's, like, letting an entire family live in his attic. But yeah, yeah. It's a big house. Like, are they yeah. paying rent? How does it work? What is it like if they sold the house now? It's worth, like, $8 million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, very, yeah. uh, that's, that's yeah, they all, the, the guy, the producer, bought the house. Oh. Uh, is it Jeff Daniels? It might be Jeff Daniels. That sounds Not right. Jeff Daniels. Uh, 
It's something like that, though. It's not the actor it's Jeff a, Daniels. Yeah, it's a different Jeff Daniels. I think it's a Jeff Daniels, though, isn't it's it? It's called with a G-E-O. Yeah. Geoff yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniels. Geoff Daniels. Yeah. We have six, 17 Super Chats to read. So oh, okay, we should, shit. Uh, Here we go. Okay, uh, Tom Perhas. Oh, we already read that one. Baron Forrest, $5. We, and we read your thing. Chingathu, $2. Kingsman flopped this weekend. I'll talk about it. Don't yeah. worry. Uh, Chaos5338. Shout out to Stephen Larson. Love your work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please, Gamer ZL. Steven Larson for the win was the reason I subbed to Machina, Machinia in the first place. Sai, I missed you guys. Ah, uh, the Machinia Sigh. memories. And then he corrected himself with another $2. <laughs> <For> <laughs> so many great, there we go, Machinima yeah. memories. Uh, Alto oh, Voltaje, yeah. beards on the left, shaved on the right. Yeah, we aligned ourselves Lol. with yes. our mm -hmm. dads. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> another one from him, $5. How would Steve and Ricky look like with a beard? I don't know. Photoshop it. I can't. I have like just a lot of dirt. Like it's very like yeah, maybe when sparse. I I'm thinking like when I hit 50 or so, I nah. might actually have. You only grow gray hair? Huh? The yeah, hair's I like know. Exactly. There, it's like, yeah. Yeah. As soon yeah. as you can grow gray, that that's point, when it comes yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, are you already getting the pepper up here? I'm getting some pepper up here. You know what? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah. Surprisingly, because every I got, time like, I get a haircut, I see I it like fall down. I'm like, three, oh, shit. I got like yeah. three step kids. My niece is over all the time. They're all teenagers, and then I've got. A, a toddler, and somehow I've not gone gray yet. Wow. Well, yeah. I've gone gray Impressive. for both of us. Yeah, he's, Chingathu, yeah, he's got all the gray. Chinga through $5. I imagine Elliot and Larson in a lumber yard wearing flannels and chopping wood. Where, are, yeah. where would you imagine me uh -huh. and Steve? I think I've ever chopped wood in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shirtless and a tub. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alan Hernandez, dads, send me good luck for my calc exam. Oh, screw good calculus. Luck. Man. Good oh, luck my with God. that. Yeah. Good well, luck. I got math. a 32% in calculus senior You're year. You did well in I never yeah. went to it. I got an A in calculus. I oh could have done God. calculus. I, I was on track for it, and I was like, nah, fuck that. So I just stopped at Algebra 2. Yeah I, yeah, I did Algebra 2, and that was it. That yeah, was, was like, like the I'm requirement done. for high school when I was there, and that was like, all right, done. Yeah. Done. Uh, uh, Gavin Shambly. Damn, I used to watch Stephen Larson to the fifth all the time. Temple of Wit. Yeah, Temple of uh, cheers to y'all. Ten dollars. Cheers to you. Oh, you. Go subscribe. Uh, going in link? raw. What's oh. your actual link? Is it just going in raw, or is it uh, Stephen Larson? No, it's youtube.com YouTube YouTube slash Stephen yeah. Larson. Yeah. Stephen Larson. Yeah. It's yeah. also if you go to our page, it's on the sidebar right there. Yeah. Just, yeah. Go subscribe to Stephen Larson. If you like wrestling. Yeah. If not, you know, it's whatever. Cool. Just two dads conversing. We just we just blew through finally. I know you guys have had sort of the same thing with. Weren't you stuck around like 925,000? <laughs> well, uh, we're at like 20, 900 now. We've lost 22,000 subscribers in one year. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're yeah. about to hit 900 and then we're going to cancel the show. Yeah. We were stuck at 182,000. Yeah. No, just below 182. The, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, just below for the longest time. Six yeah. months or so. And then finally, so we're going to have a sub party where we're going to eat sub sandwiches because yeah. we finally got past 182,000. And then for some reason over the past week it's blown up. Now we're past 183. Hell yeah! So, so you got some, a lot of subs you got to eat. A lot, so many subs. We're, yeah. we're gonna have a sub party for 900,000, and the channel is gonna go dark until we go above it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're only gonna do new episodes every time it goes over 900,000. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like it. That's good. Uh, uh, Josh Martinez, two dollars. Larson, too sweet. Your son, that's Elliot. That's a trick question. I'm too sweet. <laughs> Can uh, you give him a too sweet? No. You're not gonna do it. here, Elliot. This is the two. Oh, he, uh, how do you know the too sweet? This, this is around NWO. Wow. Isn't that Wolfpack? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. The the original black and white NWA they started it. Yeah. The Wolfpack, the Wolfpack thing was when it got the real confusing. WCW's NWA. writing really just took a shit around that time, where they just didn't. They're like, well, people like this NWO thing. Let's just milk it until let's it's just give them more of it. Raw. Yeah. Yeah. Put Hulk Hogan in there. Yeah. yeah. Wolfpack was like the good guy NWO After they sort split. of, but yeah. like there was it was also a bunch of. B squad, and it, it didn't make sense. They, just, they got like Rey Mysterio He's to like join shit. Like Dave Meltzer, he's like a wrestling historian. It really is. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, I was very, very, very into it. Well done. At, at like age, twelve to fourteen. Yeah. And then, our college and years. then yeah. it fell off. Yeah. Uh, Corey Slip with twenty North Korean uh, Nor <laughs> Norwegian kroners. <laughs> North Korea. When you guys gonna get to one million? Well, we just answered me. that. Can I help? Yeah. Yeah. Tell people to subscribe. Make a bunch of bot <laughs> accounts. <laughs> subscribe. Oh, yeah. Hack into all, like all your friends' accounts. Subscribe. On those. We're still. Be I, I think we're still just being uh, like punished by YouTube because our views have actually gone up on average. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're steady. It, we had like uh, during the summertime, it was actually a little bit of a dip. I think we were out of the office a whole bunch too. But mm -hmm. like the views per video are doing great mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Make views great again. Subs still fucking going down. So it doesn't make any sense that we would be getting more views but it's less so subs. It's so weird, man. Yeah. It's so weird. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll never win a streaming. 
Uh, uh, but go vote for Sugar Pine Seven, though. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just we're just I think we both this weekend just made up lies. Yeah, yeah. I said that Steven Subtick was gonna name his son hashtag ad mm-hmm. if they won the streamy. Yeah. I, I think I just put like if I get eight retweets, uh, Subtick's gonna give me a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I got way more than eight retweets, so he yeah, owes me he lots, lots, of money money dollars. lots of money or way. He's supposed to shave his head today, and their editor got a tattoo on her ass. Yeah, that's uh, not going to be regretted at all. Uh, we saw the Red Foreman one earlier. Thank you very much, Chingathu. Uh, $2 from Zero Man Dismissal. Al Bundy, best TV dad. Yes, we agreed. Boba Fett, 316. Uh, love the show, guys. Keeping the lights on. Cheers. Thanks, Boba Fett. Uh, again, because uh, someone tweeted it, I was like, no. We, de- we never ask for super chats. We read them if they come through. Yeah. But it is not a requirement at no, all. No, you don't have to. Uh, Hermes Trismegistus. You guys are my favorite thing on YouTube. Love you. Love you, too. Thank Love you so much you. For, the, for the $20 super chat. Elliot, you want to read the next one? TJ Hubbard. Great name. $5. You guys are awesome, but I wish the live stream was half an hour so I could watch it all live. No, half, half an, an hour, hour later. Half an, oh, half an hour you can rewatch it. It's like a vision test for you guys over here. Yeah, it is. Uh, Read line shit. three. I just got these glasses too, and uh, I don't know. He, he says he wants style to over be function. More like half hour later. <laughs> more like hangover dyslexia. So we can watch yeah. it all live. Yeah, keep up the great work. It's a bit fuzzy. Happy late birthday, Elliot. Thank oh, you, yeah, TJ. Happy birthday. Uh, happy late birthday. Thank you, TJ. We will never move the time of the show, so you're just going to have to. It's already late I enough. Don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Liam Wagner giving a shout out to my friendos. Love you guys. Two dollars. Thank you, Liam. Thank Love you, Johnson, John Johnson. Johnson, Johnson, <laughs> Johnson, Johnson. Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. <laughs> two pounds. Make John, this John, two John, pounds Johnson. worth it, Elliot. Show some nipple talk. A little bit of nipple. For Ooh. only two pounds. You can't oh, see through the hair. Can't you get all the way Banned from YouTube. Yeah. Not monetizable. Well, Twitch will ban you. You get the yellow yeah. thing. Twitch is not like this. Uh, JC Garcia, Steven Larson for the win. Sorry you got here late. Didn't know if this was to ask, but favorite wrestlers of all time? DDP and Rock for me. Shawn Michaels for me. Uh, Stone Cold for me. Yeah. Can't I'd go have to say Stone Cold yeah, Steve Austin. Stone Cold, that was the time that I watched and loved him very much. It's, it's such an easy answer, gold but dust? he was, I was the a big fan most. Of gold say, uh, dust. Mick Foley. Oh, yeah. He's still around, you know. He still wrestles. Wow. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, Mankind was great. Mankind, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Hell Man really himself. put himself through a... Uh, a lot. A lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. He got thrown yeah. off the top of Hell himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fucking oh, meme my is. God, yeah. Love that meme. There's, Someone, I was That's on Reddit one time, and someone pointed out how the yeah, yeah. the meme is like not grammatically sound, and yes, that's, so. now I can't unsee that. Uh, yeah, there's like something about the syntax of it that it doesn't make sense. It like contradicts itself. Remember when grammar Nazis were the only Nazis you had to worry about on Twitter? I know. I know. I miss those the days. The good old days. They were, yeah, those were good days. Uh, DH, Declan Hat at Declan Hat. What's the worst thing your dad ever punished you for? <laughs> and uh, would you punish your kids for the same thing? So my main thing, I would get in trouble because of my mouth. I would mm-hmm. talk back. Yeah, same. Yeah. But it was mainly talking back to my mom. And, you don't talk to her like that. And yet, but my dad, like, he usually just hung back. My dad was the kind that he was Waiting like. Waiting in the, in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> if I would disappoint him, he wouldn't yell at me. He would just give me that look. Yeah. And it was like way more. Like, I could take a beating from my mom or her yelling at me or whatever. And that was fine. It's like, okay, I got my punishment, so I'm good. No remorse. But um, my dad, he would just look at me, and I'd be like, torn apart yeah and so that was like really affecting me but i don't remember I don't emotional know. abuse instead of physical yeah exactly it was yeah. just a feeling that you had disappointed your father greatly yeah was the worst punishment yeah i never felt that <laughs> i i was never like i was just like my dad's a fucking asshole i love him now it's great yeah, sure yeah, yeah as soon as yeah. i left the house it's like oh i get it mm-hmm. like, when i actually like had to live on my own it's just like yeah. wow i was a fucking asshole yeah mm-hmm. uh i think the most i ever got yelled at like a bunch was just like i you know did BMX and stuff like that, so I would like fucking steal his tools, and oh, throw them in my yeah. backpack, and go like riding for like a day or two, or like stay at a friend's house or whatever, and not tell them. Yeah, It'd be something that he would <laughs> need for work. Mm. <laughs> ah, I'll go home and find this one specific wrench that I need. I know it's there. Mm-hmm. Just get fucking so pissed that I took it. Yeah. And then I would lie about having it because I was scared. Well, then where the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> and then just walk away. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of little elves must live in my garage. <laughs> Oh, the live show at the Nerds. We did a live show at uh, at the Meltdown Comics. You did? Oh, wow. thing. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. God, it's like, we're just so, like, we don't travel very yeah, often. Yeah, it was a long so day. So when we yeah. do, it's like, er. How sorry you spent $2 more on Great. Jake I'm sorry. Like, yeah. uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Yeah, mellow. We reviewed this, um, this old uh, it's like failed. A failed oh, well, the it was pilot a, was successful, but the series never got picked up. Yeah, um, so it was, a, yeah, it was a failed TV show. It was a pilot that aired once in 1991 called Tag Team about two wrestlers 
who got kicked out of wrestling mm. and became cops. And they were stars. played, <laughs> they were played great. by Jesse Ventura and Roddy Piper. What? Two of the most charismatic yeah. people on the face of the earth. And for some reason, they wrote them as like borderline dullards. Like it was apparently, uh, according to our buddy, it was supposed to be like kind of a for kids thing. Like an A-team type thing where there's but some like violence, but no one ever dies, yeah. no one ever gets hurt. Do they like body slam criminals? Oh yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they would implement. And, and in and that, Jesse Ventura would start talking about chemtrails. Yeah. It was, it was, here's the thing about seeding the clouds. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing about chemtrails. This is Jesse Ventura from an undisclosed location in Mexico. I love that a conspiracy theorist fucking became like governor of Minnesota. Oh, I know. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a strange yeah. time Minnesota. in the '90s. Yeah, we didn't have yeah. a lot of problems. That was the craziest thing in yeah. politics at the time. I read his book. The yeah, attitude area exactly. era of uh, politics. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was weird because uh, he had, on his podcast he had Piper on one time and was talking about the show and he was he, they were talking about how yeah that show got picked up our lives have been dramatically different because yep. Jesse's like, it could have been a really massive hit, mm -hmm. and I would never have gotten into politics. I couldn't be mayor of some town in Minnesota before I was governor and carry carry on this popular TV series. And Piper's like, yeah, you never would have done that, would you? Nope. <laughs> nope. So. He has the best hair. Mm -hmm. Just... Just oh, embraces yeah, embraces the yeah. baldness. Even back keeps then, the was, he had yeah. the horseshoe it's going like, with uh, the ponytail. It's like a wrestler thing. Like Hulk Hogan has it too. It's just yeah. like yeah. they all like have no problem just wearing bandanas. Yep. Like, yeah. it's, uh, it's all from like testosterone abuse yeah. too. Oh yeah. Like, oh yes. Yeah, big yeah. time. Well, it's yeah. also because uh, a lot of the, floor, the the wrestlers are from Florida. It's a good way to keep the sun off your neck. Mm -hmm. No sunburn. Mm -hmm. Just keep it long in the back. That's where the mullet came from, pretty much. Yeah, Hulk Hogan's a really weird-looking guy. It's, it's very strange that he became like, the Twitter face account. of wrestling. Well, you know what's even weirder is that if you go back to when he became like huge in like 84, 85, 83, like around then, he looks so distinctly different in his face as a yeah, human being he was very chubby. than he does like five years later. Mm -hmm. And it's probably because he changed up whatever he was taking and made him yeah. less puffy. But his face looks so different. It wasn't different. just puffiness, though. It was like literally the structure of his face yeah, was different. Right. Yeah, it's so yeah. weird. It's like a, you know, Paula's Dead type thing. It's like, did they change Hulk Hogan? <laughs> but then when you look, when they... <laughs> they swapped him out. Like, the one person you probably could never change. It yeah. looked like they did. But then if you actually look, like, year to year at his face, you could see it morph. Like, yeah. they never switched well, out he was young person. back then, too, so maybe he was just... Ish. He, like maybe he, like, is. stopped he his, his aging with well, steroid yeah. abuse. I mean, like, yeah. and then Wayne he Johnson... Stopped, like, when he went on a different regimen, and maybe it, he started aging again. That could, yeah, that could you be. just hit the yeah. pause yeah. button on the The game. Rock yeah. looks completely different now than he did in, like, his mid-20s. Like, oh, completely yeah, yeah. fucking I think that's yeah, a lot yeah, to do yeah, with yeah, his fucking yeah. haircut, though. Yeah. But well, no, like, the shape is, of his face and, like, well, no, also his body is completely different, yeah, too. Yeah, he's way more cut than he ever was when he was yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. he used to be kind of fat, or at least, like, a little chubbier. Yeah, yeah, yeah for uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, the structure of his face is definitely sunken no, in because he is perfectly... Was round back then. Yeah. Yeah, he is a the like pinnacle of No body fat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say like the fucking Hulk Hogan's Twitter account is is a god. Oh thing. god, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like the one he did recently, like, never Love drinking brother. again, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the one where he's like, the it's famous all caps. one. Yeah, the famous yeah. one where he's at the Ninja Turtles movie screening. He's like at the Ninja Turtles movie screening, 7:30 p.m. with all my friends, and there's no one in the theater. <laughs> it's just a picture of him sitting in the theater seat at the Ninja Turtles screening with all my friends. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Never touching a touching drinks again, brother. brother. Oh man! Uh, did your dad punish you for anything bad? Um, I used to want to wrestle my brother all the time, yeah. and it just drive him crazy. Those and are my favorite stories of his. Is his and his the epic feud between him and his brother. Oh yeah, we had a, a, a blood feud your for about eighteen years. Like a years, yeah. yeah, like a decades-long uh, storyline between him and his brother. And then eventually reconciliation when he moved out of the house, yeah. and then we were friends. But yeah, for the whole time growing up, my brother and I, usually me, instigating everything. This place isn't big yeah. enough for both of us, I know. brother. Wow. So he'd just be finding his own business and come to him and just tackle him. Were you guys? Until uh, <laughs> I wanted to fight. <laughs> Spare. Were you guys young enough for the? Uh, era of uh, massive WWE merchandise where you had the wrestling buddies and yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We, we all yeah. had those. I'm just fucking like, I am surprised that like me and my friends' beds survived that because we would just oh, like fucking yeah. run into the room and just yeah, bam, yeah. like just jump like as hard as you could on the bed. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it was uh, it was a fun time to be a wrestling fan. Now mm. I'm sure it's great. I just I. Maybe when I have a kid, it takes a lot of dedication. Yeah, yeah there's, there's so, so much, much wrestling. Yeah, how do you it's dive just, in? Like when I dove different. into that live show, like I hadn't watched anything. I was just yeah. like, oh, this is great. This is entertaining. I could see myself getting well, into part, it. Well, part part of the problem is that like so their Monday night show Raw 
is it's like three hours three long. Three hours long. long. And honestly, like on the first day of work for an adult too. Yeah. Like of the yeah. week. It's it's a lot to get through. It doesn't really the, the, the point of entry is a bit bigger now than it used to be. Like yeah. back then Raw was like two hours long and it kicked off and it was exciting and all these people have great signs. And they really have sort of I don't know. How would you the describe? intensity level is dialed back quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it does, you're not as jazzed, like no. So I don't know. I like a lot of the other stuff. Like Raw is probably my least favorite mm. aspect. Smackdown's of, of pretty wrestling. good yeah. in comparison to Raw, but like 205 Live and NXT, the stuff they have in the network is probably their best no. programming. But right then now. you have to like pay for the freaking. Yeah. I can't even watch like normal shows on the actual schedule it comes on. Right, Although I yeah. did uh, watch Vice Principals last night. And oh is. fuck! I is haven't watched the good? newest one. Oh, yeah, the first season is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. The second one's finally getting ratcheted up. Like the first one's just kind of like, oh, here's kind of where everything's at now. The is that the, is that the same guys that did East Bound and Down? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it is them. It's okay. like the exact same crew. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's right. Uh, quality stuff. Uh, oh, and then I run, oh, just for the live show, uh, did you, any of you guys see Kingsman this weekend? No. No, I haven't even seen the first one. Great I'm movie. Really fantastic movie. Starts off real strong. Ends real strong. The middle bit, I think, is what people are kind of like not. I, mean, I haven't read a lot of the reviews, mm. but it does kind of drag a bit in the middle. It's a pretty long movie, uh, and in, it's just a lot of like plot and character development in the middle that... Ugh, this plot. All well, no, but like a movie like this doesn't really need yeah. all yeah. that much. Like, yeah, it's a pretty dumb movie. At its core idea at its core. Yeah, it's it's a it's a comic book yeah. rated R comic book movie about spies. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of just faffing in the middle. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of time wasting going on. Julianne Moore's character is fucking evil as shit though. Although kind of underutilized as a villain, uh, Channing Tatum. Heavily underutilized. Oh, heavily underutilized. I read that That's yesterday on internet. That yeah, it's kind of, it was kind of a bummer because it. I was yeah. so looking forward to like him kicking ass in the movie. Yeah. And uh, not to spoil it too much, but like, yeah, he's just underutilized. Uh, but I did find some Statesman whiskey yesterday. I'm gonna bring it in later in the week so we can try some. Uh, the the American like the Kingsmen they do tailoring. Mm -hmm. The uh, American group, the Statesman, they have a whiskey distillery, oh. and uh, they partnered with Old Forester to do uh, an actual Old release. Forester. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, this is off topic, but those wrestling buddies, those are like the original waifu pillows. Yeah, but you get to beat the shit out of yeah. them. Yeah. Instead of fucking them. Interesting. They have yeah. white, white, what is that? You know the Japanese waifu pillows? The, I am. With the, the like anime full, girls on it? There's a body oh, pillow. Okay. With, like, boots. It's a real right. creepy thing. Yeah. They got dude ones now. We found them but, in Germany. Uh, yeah, Do they have the Pegasus? wrestling buddy was like the original They version. got like, uh, what is it like, so like, cleavage for dudes is like your ball hair what? showing? That's, That's cleavage? Yeah, it's like dick cleavage. Like you're showing your your uh, ball that's hair. That's a new thing. Not yeah. ball hair, but like uh, <laughs> your pubis hair. Your pubis. Hmm. Yeah. Peeking up. Uh, yeah. The man the man waifu pillows, the dayfus, I guess you would call it. Okay. Uh, would be. Uh, uh, they have. Uh, they have some ball hair. Yeah, a little bit of scruff on the. Interesting. Above the dick, showing. Just kind of poking out from. Instead like of the a, cleavage. Wow. I wonder if it's a different texture when you touch it on the pillow. We didn't touch the pillows. No. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to find out mm -hmm. later. People are weird, man. Uh, one last one from Joe Fitzpatrick, friend of the show. Oh. Soon to be dad. Oh, he, oh baby yeah. on the way. Oh, wow. yeah. Baby on the way. As a new father, oh, in November he's going to be a new father. Oh, shit. He oh. needs some ideas. What is a truly dad thing you've done to embarrass your family members? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Wow. It's, oh, there's so many things. Okay, you have, so, like, a teenage stepdaughter as well. I've got several. And so. Okay, so one of the best things is when I get, and it doesn't happen often, but when I do get recognized and they're around, because it's like they hate that their stepdad is like known by other people. He films it in his bedroom. Oh yeah, they run <laughs> it down like immediately. So that's always fun. I'm trying to think of like other like dad things I've done to embarrass. So I think like, I don't know, like, so my stepkids are kind of old enough to be like dating now a little bit. So I'll just mess with that. Like if they're like talking to a boy outside, I'll like, open up the door with like my freaking shirt off. I want you to come back to where from which you yeah, came. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, that's a lot of fun, I like doing that. Yeah, we know what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. We all had them. Wrestling buddies, yeah. they're great. Those are great. Uh, how about you? Uh, you, can't have an, you can't really embarrass yet, Yeah, right? they're a little young to be embarrassed, although my oldest is very shy. So anytime I ask her or say, hey, you know, say hi to grandpa, grandma, and if she's just not in the mood, she'll just be super shy, I guess that's kind of it being embarrassed. Are you prepping any like dad jokes or anything like that? Not really. No. I'm kind of, no. yeah, I, I, I'm sort of naturally corny, so yeah, like, same usually here. when I talk, like that just happens. I think my kids are gonna embarrass me more. Like, should fucking, imagine them in like high school or middle school showing like 
fucking two decade old episodes of Tugs to people. <laughs> oh, people God, actually yeah. thought this was funny. Oh, hey, we of, found yeah. your dad on the internet. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna no. be fucking mortified. Yeah. 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 Some of our old ten for the win stuff. Mm. Like, cause that's oh, never sure. going away. Yeah. Like, even no. if YouTube shut down, like, yeah, there'll be episodes that are on the internet forever. Mm -hmm. I yeah. know. I know. And it's like that. So that's how I will embarrass my kids one day by, unbeknownst to me, I'll be at work or doing mm -hmm. whatever. And they'll come home and be like, you ruined my life. <laughs> what do you mean? You fucking <coughs> existed. <laughs> now yeah. people found out about your yeah. show. Wow. That was just something I did a long time ago that I'm very embarrassed about. It was called Tugs, and it was a joke. <laughs> it, was it was a big joke. My whole career has been a joke. Yeah. Now, some of our early 10 for the win, like, especially when we do those like, filmed intros. Yeah. And we would just get so goofy. I mean, that's got to be embarrassing at some point. Yeah. yeah. Was, like Someone just mentioned, like, Shibby. Like, imagine when Shibby has kids, oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and his kids are in high school, and they go up and watch videos about their dad fucking talking about how much he loves to eat ass. All of a <laughs> hey, let's just eat ass. Like, just like, Dad, what the fuck? Do you really eat mom's ass all the time? <laughs> This is a <laughs> no, I'll tell you how to eat ass. <laughs> it's shibby, like it's fucking it's prom night. And yeah. His, his like daughter's going to prom. He's like, hey, remember, kid, don't eat my daughter's ass on the first <laughs> date. <laughs> I learned it from watching out. you. Yeah. Uh, God, now, no, now that I think about it, that last conversation we had about Ant Man. Oh, that Ant Man. I'll be proud that's of that. Enough. Yeah. That's enough. That's <laughs> enough. <Yeah. laughs> Your dad's. Rest in peace. By that point, yeah. Michael Douglas just like. Uh, yeah. Remember when you guys told like told everyone about how he got cancer from eating <laughs> pussy <laughs> and laughed about it for five minutes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I fell out of my chair. Oh my god, that was great. Yeah, that was uh, that was a great <laughs> moment. Go watch that if you haven't seen it already. Oh yes. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go get lunch probably. So we we'll, read a we'll end this here. Chats. Let's read the uh, super chats. Oh, there was a couple people saying this, uh, and I've seen the video of one person showing their. Parents speaking of, or showing their kid. Oh yeah. Speaking of tugs, apparently parents let their children watch tugs, and it's a bad thing. Uh, I told my wife that my toddler learned the f word from Ricky while watching tugs. Uh, too scared to tell her it was me, Dad. Win. <laughs> but yeah, we've also seen job. videos. So where we're like, taking the heat for your bad parents. Kids yeah. mimic the okay. intro song and then go. No, no you fucking cut. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. So it's great. happened multiple that's times awesome. where kids learn to cuss from watching tugs. That's fantastic. That's funny. Uh, also, Lauren uh, or Laura Ayers, thank you very much for the five euros. 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 Uh, also, JC Garcia, two dollars. You guys ever make backyard wrestling videos? We had a Fight Club when I was a kid. Uh, really? Yeah. really? Yeah, we didn't film it, but we definitely uh, at like it's at, at fucking school during like recess and shit. We would wrestle. And then yeah. we, we all it all had to stop when one kid finally got like his arm broken. Oh yeah, oh, man. yeah. But like it's we were just like games. oh like. Like power bomb me. We'd like, learn how to do all. That. It was fucking dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we had the uh, like full on fight club with boxing gloves, but we'd go out to this kid's house out past the the highway, out in the sticks. I love that. That's like and, such like, from a fucking. Forty book. people yeah. would go, and they'd just be like, you have to draw names from a hat of who you were fighting. Oh, oh my. Yeah. yeah. And if you went, you had to fight. I fucking skirted it. It's like far beyond like, backyard. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna yeah. just go while yeah. someone's fighting and sneak mm -hmm. out this the back. Is a, yeah. This is like yeah, an underground fight league. <laughs> no, it really <laughs> was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. Bad. No, you know, by the time that by the time we were watching, it was like college, and I don't know, we weren't that. Well, we'd like do moves on yeah, each other, but yeah. it wasn't like any sort of organized. And thing. we were like totally naked, so it was yeah. like yeah, yeah. You know. it was like high school wrestling where you butt fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just ate my ass, yeah, so it was yeah. all good. Where you literally transfer skin diseases between high school students. Right, but work. no, we never like tried to do the back. Like even back then, we would watch. Like, you know, backyard wrestling and be like, these guys are stupid. Why yeah. are they doing this? Yeah. They're not accomplishing Throwing anything. Throwing people off each other's roofs and shit? Oh, God. Yeah. I was like, like, that's not smart. Yeah. No. That Bad never idea. appealed. Never appealed. Uh. Yeah, between wrestling and, like, jackass, like, mm -hmm. yeah. me and, like, everyone, every boy, like, my age and, like, middle school we just did dangerous yeah, fucking shit yeah. all, the all the time. If that stuff, if that stuff <laughs> had come out, if I was, like, your guys' age. Like, I probably would have been the same thing because you yeah. were, like, extra stupid back in high school. Yeah. Well, especially, like, I mean, not to excuse it, but I was, like, straight edge back then and wasn't d dating. You needed so a So it's like there's you nothing to do except thing. fuck shit up. Like, yeah. So it was just chaos. Yeah. Like, just a ball of chaos around all of me and my friends at yeah. any point in time. Bad. That's why you need to drink and fuck when you're a kid because... Yeah. 
Otherwise, you're going to break stuff. Mm -hmm. You need the release, kids. Yeah. yeah. You need to get pregnant at 16 so you don't have a fucking life to ruin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not my kids. Ruin Not it now. Not my stepkids. I don't need to be, you know, I mean, it's, it's always possible at this point. So yeah, I, you can be a granddad. My by like oldest next, stepkid yeah. is 18. Yeah, you can be a granddad real soon. I know. That's a very distinct possible. I hope it like That's when the gray that. just yeah. goes poof. You know, like at, Albert at that Einstein. point, it totally would. Yeah. yeah. Instant gray mustache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hunch. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for joining us this morning. Uh, Audible.com. Thank oh, yeah. you for sponsoring the show. Uh, use Audible to read or listen, actually. None of that reading work. Listen to. Give those eyes a rest. An incredible amount of books. And if you go to audible.com slash ETC. You get a free book with a 30-day trial. Certain restrictions apply. See site for details. Audible.com slash ETC. Thank you very much, Stephen Larson, for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. YouTube.com slash Stephen Larson. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys very shortly. Uh, now, before we officially cancel it, uh, the rules are that you have to both uh, stand at the beginning mm -hmm. and oh, right. the end of yeah. any, right, yeah. a lot of people don't know that because they leave football games to beat the traffic but yeah. if you stay for the yeah. full football game they do play the national anthem at the True. end and yeah. everyone stands again so uh jack you can just play us out as we uh salute play the flag out. how did tim tebow do it oh yeah yeah this is disrespectful to america what you're doing you're is disrespectful, disrespectful to no, america. i'm putting god before america this is a peaceful protest. Stretch. <laughs>